CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 8 Comparing Quantities Page 165 8.4.3 Ratios 2% Sometimes parts are given to us in the form of ratios and we need to convert those to percentages. Consider the following example. Example 14 Rina's mother said, To make idlis, you must take two parts rice and one part urad dal. What percentage of such a mixture would be rice and what percentage would be urad dal? Solution In terms of ratio, we would write this as rice is to urad dal is equal to 2 is to 1. Now, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 is the total of all parts. This means 2 upon 3 part is rice and 1 upon 3 part is urad dal. Then percentage of rice would be 2 upon 3 multiplied by 100 percent which is equal to 200 upon 3 which is equal to 66 2 upon 3 percent. Percentage of urad dal would be 1 upon 3 multiplied by 100 percent, which is equal to 100 upon 3, which is equal to 33 1 upon 3 percent. Page 166. Example 15. If 250 rupees is to be divided amongst Ravi, Raju and Roy, so that Ravi gets two parts, Raju three parts and Roy five parts, how much money will each get? What will it be in percentages? Solution The parts which the three boys are getting can be written in terms of ratios as 2 is to 3 is to 5. Total of the parts is 2 plus 3 plus 5, which is equal to 10. Amounts received by each. 2 upon 10 multiplied by 250 rupees is equal to 50 rupees. 3 upon 10 multiplied by 250 rupees is equal to 75 rupees. 5 upon 10 multiplied by 250 rupees is equal to 125 rupees. Percentages of money for each. Ravi gets 2 upon 10 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 20%. Raju gets 3 upon 10 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 30%. Roy gets 5 upon 10 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 50%. Try these. 1. Divide 15 sweets between Manu and Sonu so that they get 20% and 80% of them respectively. 2. If angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4, find the value of each angle. 
increase or decrease as percent. There are times when we need to know the increase or decrease in a certain quantity as percentage. For example, if the population of a state increased from 5,50,000 to 6,5,000, then the increase in population can be understood better if we say the population increased by 10%. How do we convert the increase or decrease in a quantity as a percentage of the initial amount? Consider the following example. Example 16. A school team won six games this year against four games won last year. What is the percent increase? Solution. The increase in the number of wins or amount of change is equal to 6 minus 4 which is equal to 2. Percentage increase is equal to amount of change divided by original amount or base multiplied by 100, which is equal to increase in the number of wins divided by original number of wins multiplied by 100, which is equal to 2 upon 4 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 50. Example 17. The number of illiterate persons in a country decreased from 150 lakhs to 100 lakhs in 10 years. What is the percentage of decrease? Solution. Original amount is equal to the number of illiterate persons initially, which is equal to 150 lakhs. Page 167 Amount of change is equal to decrease in the number of illiterate persons, which is equal to 150 minus 100, which is equal to 50 lakhs. Therefore, the percentage of decrease is equal to amount of change divided by original amount multiplied by 100, which is equal to 50 divided by 150 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 33 1 upon 3. Try these. 1. Find percentage of increase or decrease. Price of shirt decreased from 280 rupees to 210 rupees. Marks in a test increased from 20 to 30. 2. My mother says, in her childhood, petrol was 1 rupee a litre. It is 52 rupees per litre today. By what percentage has the price gone up? 8.5. Prices related to an item or buying and selling. I bought it for 600 rupees and will sell it for 610 rupees, says the shopkeeper. The buying price of any item is known as its cost price. It is written in short as CP. The price at which you sell is known as the selling price or, in short, SP. What would you say is better? Do you sell the item at a lower price, same price, or higher price than your buying price? You can decide 
whether the sale was profitable or not, depending on the CP and SP. If CP is less than SP, then you made a profit equal to SP minus CP. If CP is equal to SP, then you are in a no profit, no loss situation. If CP is greater than SP, then you have a loss equal to CP minus SP. Let us try to interpret the statements related to prices of items. A toy bought for 72 rupees is sold at 80 rupees. A t-shirt bought for 120 rupees is sold at 100 rupees. A cycle bought for 800 rupees is sold for 940 rupees. Let us consider the first statement. The buying price or CP is 72 rupees and the selling price or SP is 80 rupees. This means SP is more than CP. Hence, profit made is equal to SP minus CP, which is equal to 80 rupees minus 72 rupees, which is equal to 8 rupees. Now, try interpreting the remaining statements in a similar way. 8.5.1 Profit or loss as a percentage The profit or loss can be converted to a percentage. It is always calculated on the CP. For the above examples, we can find the profit percent or loss percent. Let us consider the example related to the toy. We have CP is equal to 72 rupees, SP is equal to 80 rupees, profit is equal to 8 rupees. To find the percentage of profit, Neha and Shekhar have used the following methods. Page 168 Neha does it this way. Profit percent is equal to profit divided by CP multiplied by 100, which is equal to 8 upon 72 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 1 upon 9 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 11 1 upon 9. Shekhar does it this way. On 72 rupees, the profit is 8 rupees. On 100 rupees, profit is equal to 8 upon 72 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 11 1 upon 9. Thus, profit percent is equal to 11 1 upon 9. Thus, the profit is 8 rupees and profit percent is 11 1 upon 9. Similarly, you can find the loss percent in the second situation. Here, CP is equal to 120 rupees, SP is equal to 100 rupees. Therefore, loss is equal to 120 rupees minus 100 rupees, which is equal to 20 rupees. Loss percent is equal to loss upon CP multiplied by 100, which is equal to 20 upon 120 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 50 upon 3, which is equal to 16 2 upon 3. On 120 rupees, the loss is 20 rupees. So, on 100 rupees, the loss is equal to 20 upon 120 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 50 upon 3, 
which is equal to 16 2 upon 3. Thus, loss percent is 16 2 upon 3. Try the last case. Now, we see that given any two out of the three quantities related to prices, that is CP, SP, amount of profit or loss, or their percentage, we can find the rest. Example 18. The cost of a flower vase is 120 rupees. If the shopkeeper sells it at a loss of 10%, find the price at which it is sold. Solution. We are given that CP is equal to 120 rupees and loss percent is equal to 10. We have to find the CP. Sohan does it like this. Loss of 10% means if CP is 100 rupees, loss is 10 rupees. Therefore, SP would be 100 minus 10 rupees, which is equal to 90 rupees. When CP is 100 rupees, SP is 90 rupees. Therefore, if CP were 120 rupees, then SP is equal to 90 upon 100 multiplied by 120, which is equal to 108 rupees. Anandi does it like this. Loss is 10% of the cost price, which is equal to 10% of 120 rupees, which is equal to 10 upon 100 multiplied by 120, which is equal to 12 rupees. Therefore, SP is equal to CP minus loss, equal to 120 rupees minus 12 rupees, which is equal to 108 rupees. Thus, by both methods we get the SP as 108 rupees. Page 169 Example 19 Selling price of a toy car is 540 rupees. If the profit made by shopkeeper is 20%, what is the cost price of this toy? Solution We are given that SP is equal to 540 rupees and the profit is equal to 20%. We need to find the CP. Amina does it like this. 20% profit will mean, if CP is 100 rupees, profit is 20 rupees. Therefore, SP is equal to 100 plus 20, which is equal to 120. Now, when SP is 120 rupees, then CP is 100 rupees. Therefore, when SP is 540 rupees, then CP is equal to 100 upon 120 multiplied by 540, which is equal to 450 rupees. Arun does it like this. Profit is equal to 20% of CP and SP is equal to CP plus profit. So, 540 is equal to CP plus 20% of CP, which is equal to CP plus 20 upon 100 multiplied by CP, which is equal to 1 plus 1 upon 5 whole multiplied by CP, which is equal to 6 upon 5 CP. Therefore, 540 multiplied by 5 upon 6 is equal to CP, or 450 rupees is equal to CP. Thus, by both methods, the cost price is 450 rupees. Try these. 1. A shopkeeper bought a chair for 375 rupees 
and sold it for 400 rupees. Find the gain percentage. 2. Cost of an item is 50 rupees. It was sold with a profit of 12%. Find the selling price. 3. An article was sold for 250 rupees with a profit of 5%. What was its cost price? 4. An item was sold for 540 rupees at a loss of 5%. What was its cost price? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.